Welcome back to Sexified Skyrim, Winches Gone Wild. And of course, you guys are all familiar with Sophia by now, but let me introduce to you our latest companion. The very sexy Jordis the Sword Maiden. Look at this armor I've given her. This is the Xenocyte armor. Very hot. And she is smoking hot herself. She's of course got the obligate wings and tail. And I gave her this double bladed skull axe. I put an enchantment on it and smithed it up with a 100% uh, increase in my smithing uh, via potion. So I am super excited to have her. Obviously we have Proud Spire Manor. And so we have Jordis. Now, she does not yet have any dialogue options that allow for a romantic entanglement. But uh, who knows what the future will hold for us. But I am really, really excited to have her on board. And that armor, wow. I mean, she is just, uh, she's a knockout. And that, that is some sexy armor. And really protective. I, I also upgraded it using a 100% smithing increased potion and so it is yeah it's the best armor we've got on any of the girls to date so uh and uh hopefully she will earn it so i'm very 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 happy to have her now a long time coming but i think worth the wait so i want to see her in action and i'm thinking we take her to i don't know someplace new for us uh let's see pull up the journal and we can look at so one of the miscellaneous how about this investigate the ruins of Arkhavant so that's where we're going to go we're going to go in here um, I want to get some more uh, soul gems and so forth that that blade I gave her I only was able to make it up to 16% fire on it now it has a ton and tons of charges but a lot of that has to do with the fact that I took a perk that gives extra charges you know based on your your level um, of your uh, enchanting but my enchanting level still isn't very high oh what are, what we got here <laughs> was that you oh now the face light went away that that's not good Sophia still got it but Jordis doesn't all right now, I had a problem with her just a while ago. Face light turned her head black. I mean pitch black, you know. So, uh, all you could see was basically her eyes and teeth. Um, and I'm concerned about doing it again. But, like I said, I put the latest version. After that happened, I uninstalled it and put the latest version on just to avoid that. So, let me see here. We'll, we'll try and pull it up again. Please don't make her head black. Yay. Okay. That is good. Alright, it's on her now. I really hope that it stays. We will see. We will see. Yeah, so far, only, uh, only our lovely Sophia has kept her face light on. So, um, they claim in the notes that, that that's, well, that it's it's been fixed, whatever that means. Uh, I didn't read through everything. I just wanted to get it fixed and, uh, you know, get her head to not be just black. Well, okay, she's zoned in and still has it. So, that is a very, very good sign. And it's a good sign that the face light may be resolved. Um, all right. Well, with that in mind, I'm going to actually equip weapons now. And, you know, I think I'll stick with the bow for now. I mean, I want to uh, want to make sure we've got it set up with the poison. You know, it's not going to help in here, is it? Poison. Not unless we hit Falmer. So, all right, until we hit Falmer, I guess it's back to this. Okay. Good enough. I don't need my weapons drawn anyway. Because the girls do all the work. But yeah, I, I'm anxious. 
what, where, what? Oh, look at this place. I think once we're in here, oh no, no, <laughs> I was gonna say it looked like a drop down and no way back up. Um, Cause I don't know if we're gonna go through this whole thing. And, and I don't know what that quest, how, where it came from, why, why we're supposed to be exploring this. But I do know that the place is like earthquakey. What, where's, oh there she is. All right, all right, God, these girls teleporting everywhere. A voice telling us to turn back. I don't remember these ruins. Our set's not new. Yeah, yeah, it's all shaky and earthquakey. What? What are you still doing here? Let me guess. You're here for the treasure, aren't you? Just like all the others. Who are you? The name's Katria. I am... was an adventurer. Raided ruins like this for nigh on 20 years. I was on the trail of something big. It led me here, and... I didn't make it. Uh, you mentioned a treasure? It's a long story. You ever heard of Ethereum? A rare mineral used by the dwarves. Supposedly, they had to build a special forge, the Ethereum Forge, to even work with it. The items it made were so powerful, they went to war over it, and the forge was lost. Or so the story goes. And that story led you here? I spent my life tracking down that legend until my damn apprentice stole everything from me and published it all under his own name. And now, now I can't rest. Not until I have proof. Something to show the world what I discovered, what I did, that my life mattered. But it's hopeless. I died here, just like all the others. Turn back. Turn back before you become the next victim. Um. Yeah, I can handle myself. <laughs> Maybe so. Then again, I thought I could too. I'm not going to talk you out of it, am I? I know. I know. I was just like you once. Well, if you want to reach the summit, you're going to need some help. You want a hand? Well, sure. I <laughs> have a pretty ghost along. All right. Lead on, then. I just, I'm just wondering if I can hit on her now. Yes. Let's talk about home. Oh, my God. I wonder if I could take her with me. And just, like, keep her. That would be cool. So, what happened to this place? It wasn't always like this. Best preserved dwarven city I'd ever laid eyes on. And then, the earthquake hit. Now, you'd be lucky to find a single room intact. Any dangers I should be aware of? Well, there's the Falmer to start with. Deadly rapids, major earthquakes, massive chasms, unstable ground, lethal falls. And then you get to the real danger. We can discuss that when the time comes. If it comes. Um, and how did you die? I fell. When the earthquake hit, the ground just opened up. Even so, I almost made it. Another foot or two to the side and the water would have broken my fall, but nothing I could do. All right. Well, I'm not worried about falls, so let me just make sure I've got all my armor on. Yes, yes. And 
yes, yes. Okay, good. Well, it looks like we have a new companion, a pretty little ghost. Well, as pretty as I can tell, she's got a nice figure. Uh, so, <laughs> good deal. Um, not sure which way to go, and she's not kind of pointing the way or anything. But uh, let's just see. Yeah, it's, it's pointing us that direction. I don't think there's any way to get that direction. Yeah, that's a long way down. I'm not afraid. But for the sake of the girls, we'll we'll not make them have to teleport and stuff. We'll we'll walk down. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Retrieve Katria's journal. Now I didn't read that Ethereum book. Oh, look at her. Poor girl. It's Katria. All right, we'll take her stuff, I guess. Yeah, the Ethereum Wars. I hadn't read that book, but we've got another copy now. Well, sorry, Katria. I'm just gonna leave you naked. Really? You had to take the armor? Come on, leave me with a little dignity. Oh God! <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you had to take the armor and <laughs> leave me with a little dignity. <laughs> oh jeez. Well, you know, it's just. A Corpse. It's not. I mean, I can't put it back on now. It's too late. <laughs> What's done is done, and it's that's just my way. All right, Falmer. We don't want anything but their ears. Okay. Yeah. Don't be doing that. Right. So I think oh, what where is Jordis? Oh, she's in front of us. Oh, I'm so happy the face light is staying on her. Look at how beautiful she is. She is so sexy in that armor. I can't even get over it. That is the best armor ever. Good lord. Okay, okay. Yeah, she is hugely distracting. Oh, greater soul gem. Gears and levers and stuff. We'll just take it all. What the hell? Oh, this place. Wow, okay. Yeah, I'm glad I brought that helm. Did I bring that helm? Tell me I brought that helm. Of water breathing. Alright, it's not... It's an orcish helm water breathing I don't see it on me but wait, wait, where are you going she's look at her go up there all right uh, where is Sophia Sophia oh there she is look. was there something you wanted yeah I need to look in your storage oh, you're no fun oh I just want to see if you've got that helm you should have that orcish helm of water breathing, right? Yes. All right. I carry that. And you can take this armor that we just took off of poor Catria's body. All right. I'm here if you ever need me. Okay. Huh? Everybody's getting in the way. All right, so I think I think it's time for a swim, and I will just put on that helm of water breathing and take a look down here. See what we've got, if anything. Aha! A chest. Uh, 
Nothing really value. Uh, Sophia, you don't have to come down here, honey. Only We only have one helm with us. All right, so that's that. It looks like we have to go up this way. Yeah, this is very interesting. I have never done this ruin or this quest or anything. We got a little ghost guide with us. Hey, watch it. What? But you're in the way. I'm supposed to be leading here. Or if you're going to lead, lead. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. Not that way. These pi What are these pipes slippery or something? Come on. Got to get up here. This is kind of tricky. Oh, all right. Um, but how are we supposed to? Okay, I can just drop down here. Okay. Yeah, I, this is like... I think we're stuck in here now. There's no backing out from this point. Okay, what's happening? See that thing? Dwarves call them kinetic resonators. Don't see them very often, at least not among the clans in Skyrim. You just hit them, and they'll do whatever it is they're supposed to do. These things? Kinetic resonators, alright? Just hit them. Oh, there we go. Falmer up ahead. Damn, things are like flies, no matter how many you kill. Alright. Well, I'm gonna do two things then. We got Falmer. First of all, we will. Auto saving. I'm going to poison this. Well, I got so many paralysis po uh, potions now. Well, not all that many, I guess. But we'll use up the cheapo ones first. Put one on this, and we'll switch over to the bow. Put one on that. Oh, it's already what uh, poisoned. Okay. I see that dot. Yeah, girls. See, <laughs> that's my job. I incapacitate them. Uh, okay, you guys didn't finish it. Killing would be the kindest thing to do. And that was that. Nice. All right. Take the ears and gold and this stuff. And leave the rest of that. Yeah, this place is kind of creepy. It's constantly... Oh, another one? Oh, you're just a regular Falmer. And now you're dead. Falmer bandages. It's weird. Oh, oh yeah. I recharged Sophia's staffs for her. Okay, yeah, this place is weird. It's interesting. Now, I don't know where to go, but boy, it it's pretty clear we are kind of locked in here now. We're gonna we're gonna go wherever we gotta go. Here we go. Room lurker. Wow, you do you see that? Stuff's like falling, you know, like the architecture's falling apart and stuff. Trippy. I am liking this place, Katria. Yeah, this is fun. This is a good one. I 
wonder how big it is. I mean, this is a this is a very unique ruin. I imagine this is going to be quite a long adventure through here. Oh, oh no, no, no. Yeah, there we go. That's the trouble with three companions. It gets pretty crowded pretty quick. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. I think for now, we are going to call it because I'm getting kind of tired and this looks pretty involved. So, uh, I'm looking forward to a very, very fun adventure with our three lovely companions here. And I hope you will join us for the next episode. If you like this, please smash the like button and we will see you again very, very soon.